Hello everybody, this website development tip and code example is for those of you who use lots of JavaScript on your web pages, and I think we can safely say that that is most of us. The thing is that anybody can turn JavaScript completely off in their browser, making your website look retarded and only half functional. Okay, here I am at developphp.com with JavaScript enabled in my browser. And it doesn't matter what browser the user is in, they can turn off JavaScript in each one. And in the lesson, I'll be using Google Chrome, but it's the same exact kind of process in each different browser. But if you're using Google Chrome, you can follow my steps exactly here. All right, so you can see the page looks nice. It has its animations there in the header, little rollover, nice cool things happening with JavaScript up there. It's got a nice JavaScript powered uh, search bar when you put your mouse in it it turns a uh, different color that's real nice now let's see what happens when we turn JavaScript off completely so let's go up here to the little wrench and you just go find the internet options for your whatever browser you're in go under the hood press content settings and then go here to JavaScript and click do not allow any site to run JavaScript and then close that if you're in another browser that says apply or OK button you might want to press apply so it applies that setting okay with Google Chrome, you don't have to press it. It just does it. Okay, now let's just refresh the page. Now that I've turned JavaScript off, let's refresh develop PHP. And you can see that I've lost my cool animations up in my header up top. I've lost the Google ad that comes in. So there should be fallback content here that I don't have in place. There is also no rollover animations lighting up my buttons. And when I click in here in my search bar, it doesn't light up the whole rim around it. Uh, my button doesn't have its rollover effect, but you can see my pages still work pretty good and the site still looks pretty good because I don't over jQuery or over JavaScript my pages because look if you click HTML you go you start learning there's really nothing that, that is missing all really so bad that would deteriorate the user experience on my website but some of you guys you have all these crazy jQuery powered everything and nothing's gonna work on your website if you don't accommodate with fallback content okay now I'm gonna go ahead and turn it back on under the hood content settings allow okay and then I can go back to the page and refresh and it'll all be running again the way it should everything's animated everything's back now I just wanted to show you what that's like because I want some of you guys who use heavy heavy jQuery on your websites you guys are almost worse than the flash users with over animating and over flashing things on your website. But I want you to turn off JavaScript and view your website that has all this jQuery powered everything on it. And you'll see that you almost lose the entire ability to sometimes even navigate the site, view any content or anything like that. Okay, now let's jump into the code. This I have named index underscore no underscore js dot html. That means index no JavaScript HTML. And that's where I'm going to send people who don't have JavaScript enabled. I can just pretty much mark up and lay out my whole website here all static with no JavaScript animations or anything for those kind of crazy users. Now in index.html we have this code and I'm going to explain it to you real quick. And this is just like the the bare bones and the skeleton of what you would have in place to redirect the user to this index.nojs page. On your real page where you have all your JavaScript here which is going to be probably your index.html one of the first things you can do in your document before it loads up first thing in your body tag even in your head tag but if you put this in your page what's going to happen is the people who have no JavaScript enabled this no script tag is going to pick them up first. If somebody has JavaScript enabled, this will be ignored. And then the JavaScript user will see this. So to illustrate that, let me go to File, Preview in Chrome. It'll say, Hello, JavaScript enabled visitor. But if I go into the settings again, and I go into Options, and I change the setting for JavaScript to not be enabled in my browser, let me close that out same page again let's go ahead and file preview and browser Chrome it says no JavaScript is placed into this version now what it did was since no JavaScript was enabled in the browser the no script tag picked up that that user does not have JavaScript enabled so this meta tag does a refresh which is pretty much a redirect meta tag right when this meta tag gets recognized by the browser and is processed it's going to send the person to whatever page you designate or whatever website you designate if you want to send them to a different domain altogether and if the person happens to have JavaScript enabled like most normal people do this will get ignored 
and then this will process all your JavaScript beautiful jQuery everything will work fabulously and you won't ever have a problem with anybody not having JavaScript enabled because you're going to send them to another page that has no JavaScript on it at all and the reason why I say that this method is a little bit cleaner is because in a normal page you might have I see a lot of people putting no script tags like 50 times in their page and they'll have fallback content all up in those script tags for the people who don't have JavaScript enabled and I just think it bulks bulks up the HTML code greatly and it just makes the page have more bytes to load into the browser when honestly most people don't disable JavaScript you really you shouldn't really bulk out your pages like that with the no script tag in it so much when you can use this method to just you know handle that one or two oddball users they really it's gonna be dorks who are worried about security that shut off JavaScript it's not gonna be like the masses the only people that know that you can shut JavaScript off are techie dorks so that's really the only people you have to accommodate for and you might not even want to accommodate for them at all like a developed PHP I don't care they can if somebody wants to shut off JavaScript they're still gonna have a good functioning site because I rely mostly on HTML and CSS to power my user experience so this is how it works you use no script once in your page and if the person happens to have JavaScript disabled they get refreshed to another page everybody else this gets ignored and the page can continue like normal you can do whatever your normal thing is on your page